Hi, I'm Roxana from VP State, and in this video I will show how to create a search form with tabs using the theme advanced search type 6 and the search for builder for Elementor. We showcase search forms with tabs in many of our demos like main demo, San Jose demo, Reno demo and in other demos. In this video you will learn how to manage the options for the search type 6 that will include tabs and how the search form builder widget for Elementor can be used to create a search with tabs. First I will show how to set the search type 6. This can be done from team options. So I will go to VP residence options. I will go to the search section and you can set the search type in advanced search form. Here you will have eight search types available. In this video we will show how to work with the search type 6. So first I will select the search type 6. This is the one. I will save the changes that I made. I will refresh the page for all options for search type 6 to apply. And now I will scroll down to show the available options. First you will have the option to enable custom fields for the advanced search. The search type 6 will require this option to be enabled. It is already set to yes. And scrolling below, you will find the options that need to be set for the search type 6. First, you will need to select the category that will show as tabs. Here, you can select categories, action categories, city, area or county state and elements from any of these categories can be set as tabs. I will select action categories. I will save my change and refresh the page. Now in this section select the property taxonomy terms for tabs. You will have the elements that are added for action categories and here you need to select the categories that will show as tabs. I will select sales and rentals and I will save the changes that I made and refresh the page and now if you scroll down you will see that you will have price options for each category and you will also have the option to add different search fields for each category. I will continue with selecting the fields that will show for each category. Here you can select the number of search fields that will show and the number of search fields per row. I will change this to seven fields. I will save the change and refresh and now I will have seven fields available. To select a field you will need to open this drop down. Here you will have all fields available. I will start with category all property categories fields will need to have like as compare term and here you will need to add the label that will show on front end. Next I will add bedrooms, bathrooms and rooms. These fields can be made to be drop downs or fill in. If you set them as drop downs you will need to set like as compare term and if you want them to be fill in fields you can select equal, greater or smaller. I will also add labels. I will also select bath baths field. I will select cities. I will add labels. And for the last field, I will add the property price. You will have three fields available for price. I will explain each of them. I will select the same fields for sales category as well. On front end you will have this search form. You will see the tabs and the fields that I set for each category in tabs. I will go back to team options and explain the particularities for each field types available here. So I will scroll back and you will have this option for show drop downs for beds, bedrooms and rooms. This option will work only if custom fields will be enabled. In the search form you will see that rooms, bedrooms and bathrooms are drop downs. Below you will have the option to set the values that will show in the drop down for each field. You will have the option to add values for bedrooms, for bathrooms or for rooms. I will make a random change just to show how this works. So I will add here 23 and separate it with a comma. I will save changes. And now after refresh in the bedroom field, the first option will be the one that I added 23. 
I will delete this and you have the same for beds and rooms. If set to know the fields will be fill in ones. Going further you will have show features and amenities option. If this option is enabled you will need to select the features and amenities that you want to show in the search. I have some already selected and in the search form you will see the features and amenities if you press more search option. Here you see the features and amenities that you selected in admin. Going back to team options, next you will have the price settings. First you will have the option to set values for price slider. You can set values for each action in tabs. First you will have the minimum values for the tabs and next you will have the option to add the maximum values. This option will apply if you select the property price fill. On home page on refresh you will have the values that were added in team options for each tab. Going back to team options, next I will select the property price version tools. We will save changes and now in the search form you will have a price that will support manual input and a slider. Going back to team options you can select the property price version 3. This is used for price drop down fields. You will also need to set the values for the minimum price drop down values here and the values for the maximum price drop down here. And now in front end you will have a field with drop downs. These are the settings that you need to make. All the settings that I made here will apply for the team advanced search and will be visible for the search forms that will show on the team media header. Also the same settings will be visible in the half map templates. If your results page will be set to be a half map, the filter section will sync with the fields selected in team options. I will show if I perform a search. Here in the filter section we'll have the fields that I set in team options. The same settings will apply for the advanced search widget that will show in sidebars. You'll see an example here. These settings will not apply for the search forms that are created with the search form builder for Elementor. Next I will go to a home page that was created with Elementor. This is the one. Here we already have a search form that was created with the search form builder and that has tabs. I will will show how it was created. You can see that the search for builder widget was used. Here you have the option to select multiple tabs and to select the fields for each tab. I will remove invest to have the same options as I have in team options and I will save the change. We have a detailed video tutorial on how to manage the search form builder widgets options. It is important to know that if you create a search form using this widget, you will also need to set the search type 6 from team options to make sure that your search results are correct. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.